Hi, and thank you for attending this presentation arranged by Mr. Nomura. Please let me introduce myself. My name is Corbett Wall. The reason for today's presentation is to introduce you to my invention, a patented process called a method and apparatus for creating and distributing real-time interactive media content through wireless communication networks and the internet. I've patented this in 28 countries including Japan, US, Europe, China, and South Korea, almost all over the world. Patents, as I've learned over the past 12 years, are quite complicated. I should know, since I'm currently involved in a major litigation against Sony and Nintendo in the United States for infringement on their PSP and DS units. We've recently won the re-examination, which is not very good news for them. But today, I'll be discussing this patent from a bird's eye view, including what areas it covers, how it works, and what it can be used for. My goal is over the next few minutes to give a very clear idea of the value and importance of this patent to your overall mobile business strategy. First, what is the field of endeavor for this patent? What's the general area and industry we're talking about? The field of endeavor is handheld devices which wirelessly communicate with computers. Second, what problem is addressed by this patent? The problem I address with this patent is the creation and distribution of oral and visual content using portable apparatuses that can be carried as easily as a cellular telephone. Third, what does the patent teach? The patent teaches a method of creating, interacting, and distributing interactive media using handheld devices. The claims cover devices, server systems, software, and removable memory. I'll take a moment here now to explain how it all works. This is a general abstract and conceptual introduction of the patent method and apparatus for creating and distributing real-time interactive media content through wireless communication networks and the internet. First, media is received on a handheld device. Media includes any form of visual or audio information and can be received as a wireless transmission or directly from the device itself. Handheld device means anything you can hold in your hand like a mobile phone or a game device. This information is called first content. The user interacts with the first content as it is received. Interaction includes pressing buttons, touching the screen, vocalizing, taking images, mixing music, etc. This is called second content. The second content overlaps the first content according to a temporal relationship. This means that the two different types of information are synced in a meaningful way, and it's important to note that this relationship is controlled by the user. The second content is then sent to a server along with some recipient ID, and the server sends out a message with both the first and second content arranged according to this temporal relationship. The details of the patent can be seen within the patent publication, which has already been delivered to you. Remember, none of these ideas existed in 2001 when this patent was first published. This is a very early mobile patent. As well, the advantage of this patent is not limited to any particular transfer technology or standard. The industry has grown exponentially since then, and consumers have come to expect interactivity and connectedness on all their devices. This patent can be seen as a wrapping layer or killer patent encompassing many of the real-time and interactive features developed for LTE networks. This patent essentially wraps these technologies into a feasible consumer package, giving you a major competitive and defensive advantage. Here's some examples of products which are currently infringing on this patent. This first example is a financial application that allows people to purchase stocks based on information that is streamed to a mobile device. In this example, the user is using an iPhone and you can see here where the first content enters the device. In this case, it's the price of the stock for the day. Now this is in real time. And based on this information, the user generates a second content which is added on top. For example, buy ETFC now at 1406. This combined information is sent to recipients to complete the transaction. Here's a great example of the real-time interactive concept being used in an interesting way. This is a commercial in the UK promoting a service using your mobile phone to wager on sports. As you watch the race or the game, 
you can actually place bets from your mobile phone. The game in this case is the first content, which is streamed live, and the bet information is the second content. The timing of the bet, which is controlled by you, the user, is what we call the temporal relationship. This process falls directly within the scope of the pattern. I'm sure you can imagine how these features can be further expanded to include interesting applications such as interactive TV, advertising, and other forms of mobile consumer interaction. Here's a fantastic way that this patent process is being used to help people. In recent years, the medical industry has taken great strides in wireless technology. New and upcoming wireless medical devices are redefining the way physicians practice medicine. Qualcomm, GE, and a host of other companies have invested heavily in this space. These new interactive technologies will enable physicians to diagnose illness, monitor patients, and transmit medical data from the point of care. Key health data will be conveyed more rapidly and accurately, enabling speedier treatment decisions and faster adjustments in care. In this example, the user, who is a doctor, can access real-time patient waveform data anytime from anywhere. Traditionally, a nurse would say, apply a blood pressure cuff to a patient's arm, note the reading, handwrite the numbers onto a paper chart, and await the doctor's review. In the near future, this information and any notes will be sent directly to the handheld device and instantaneously available without transcription errors. If the doctor sees something unusual, he can react immediately, zoom into the waveform, draw onto the screen, add comments, and interact directly with the real-time patient monitoring data. It's as if the doctor is right next to the patient. The monitoring information entering the device is first content, and what the doctor does and how he interacts with the information is second content. This combined information, which is based on a temporal relationship, when archived or sent to recipients, including the doctor himself, the hospital, or the patient, completes the process of this patent. In the entertainment field, here are two examples of multiplayer gaming on handheld devices. This first clip is on a Nintendo DS, where the player adds second content according to a temporal relationship to the received first content. Gameplay information is then transmitted as messages back to the server, which redistributes it to the various recipients for continuous multiplayer interaction. Finally, here's an entertaining video clip from the recent 2011 CES show in Las Vegas, where Electronic Arts introduces their newest game for the Verizon LTE network. The game is called Rock Band Mobile, a multiplayer game that combines music with user interaction and can be played with up to four players at a time on mobile devices. It is an excellent example of how this patent has been commercialized. The concept behind Rock Band Mobile is that the user can form a band, pick a song, and play music together with their friends via a wireless network. I'll explain here how the game uses the processes of the patent. First content is generated and presented via the wireless device to the user. In this case, it is a video and audio of the artist's performance along with the colorful accompanying gameplay graphics. There are four different roles which can be selected, and the goal is to be able to press the correct sequence of buttons or sing along with the timing of the music to play with the band. The pressing of the buttons or singing in sync with the music is what we refer to as second content. In order for the music to make any sense, this second content needs to be in sync with the first content according to what we call a temporal relationship, which is controlled by the user. On the screen, you'll notice there are four mobile devices, each representing a role, bass, drums, guitar, and vocal. What you see on the screen of each device is first content. The way the user interacts with this by pressing the buttons is second content. This combined information is then distributed to the other players, allowing for continuous multiplayer interaction. I hope this short overview gives you a better idea of the tremendous scope of this patent, and I hope that this patent can be useful for your specific business needs. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have via Mr. Nomura. Once again, thank you for coming today.